Hey everybody, this is Capri in Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Today, we're making coffee biscuits for the repeatable culinary and leave method of making gill. This was a topic that I had not planned to cover because there are already informative videos about it, but someone requested it, so we'll be having some fun with this. This has been a bit of an adventure to produce because this is the very first video where the list is not my own. In the past, for the most part, I only uploaded videos if I didn't find videos with the information that I was looking for when I was still learning the game. While working on this video, I was wondering how I could honor the people who found and shared this method without being a copycat. But the method is so simple that trying to go off on a tangent would just overcomplicate things and would not be a realistic. So instead of trying to throw in new ideas into this solid method, we'll instead be focused on the experience because the prep work for this video was very enjoyable. And yeah, so video production feels a little strange, but has been fun at the same time. So let's get started. In case you are not familiar with the coffee biscuit method, it is a popular method of making gill because it is a reliable source of income without the hassles associated with the market board. We will start by gathering up the materials. So let's hop on our botanists and teleport to Lida Laran and Ilmeg. Then we will fly north a little ways. And here we can find garden beets, which are level 72. We will use these to make garden beet sugar, which is a level 72 culinarian recipe. To craft three sugars, you will need six fire crystals and five garden beets. It is my habit for video production purposes to gather in 30 minute sessions. I do this for calculations. You do not have to. Gathering, especially regular nodes like these, is such a chill activity that you can do it as much or as little as you want. With the calculations, my goal is to give you an idea of the general value of the item. The information is there for you to use at, to your own benefit. Next, we will teleport to Wright in Calusia and fly directly south. There are two lighthouses, but you will be looking for the lighthouse by the bridge. I always get turned around here for some silly reason. I don't know why. So that was important to specify. Anyways, here, we will find upland wheat, which is a level 73 botanist item. And later we will craft these into upland wheat flour, which is a level 74 culinarian recipe. To craft three of these, you will need seven fire crystals and five sheaves of upland wheat. The last material that we need is coffee beans, which is also in Calusia. You can fly there, but that steep mountain takes a long time to fly over. So instead, we will teleport to Tamra. Coffee beans are directly south, just outside of town. They are level 78, and because they are used uncrafted in the coffee biscuits, and you also can receive them as a reward for the leave, you won't need to gather as many of them. While you are gathering, don't worry about doing anything fancy. All the materials on today's list are found on regular nodes, meaning they can be gathered quickly and in bulk. If I had to say a trick, then I the only one I can really say is using the ability called Pick Clean on plus one or plus two gathering attempt nodes. With just doing this, I average 500 to 600 units every 30 minutes. This method does rely heavily on gathering your own materials to get the most gill without spending any. I can see how this would make the method unappealing to some people, but it actually makes me like it even more. While getting footage for this video, I was jamming out to music that makes me <laughs> feel uh, pretty. So. Yeah, so the videos were intended to be clean and appropriate to listen to around children. That does not mean that what I'm doing behind the scenes is the same. But yeah, that was the first fun that I had while prepping this video. Listening to stuff that makes me feel good about myself. Now on to the crafting portion of the method. Setting up is very simple. We will quick synth the beets into sugar and the wheat into flour. 
After that, we will craft them into high quality coffee biscuits. You can probably tell that I'm so over geared for the items. So the crafting portion of this method is super fast for me. And for everyone who's keeping up with my progression in the game, I have finally have manipulation on culinarian, alchemist, and weaver. Yay! Uh, so now to do the rest, anyways. So honestly, the crafting portion of the method was the most fun for me because this is a known method and because no one feels like you are competition, crafting right here in front of the Crystarium leave meat can and does give you opportunity to meet and talk to some really cool people. Lots of people come here, but it's not a complete crowd and this gives you a chance to strike up a conversation. You might see throughout the video, a friend of mine was standing right in the corner being adorable and a couple others came up and started to emote along with them. The social aspect of this method is unlike any other method that I've tried, which just makes this method even more enjoyable. The name of the leave that we will be turning in is a cookie for your troubles, which is level 78, found at the leave meet in the Crystarium. Because this is a repeatable leave, you will turn in three coffee biscuits three times for a total of nine. For the purpose of showing how much you can guaranteed make over time, pretty much the entire video has been turning a whole full 100 leaves, which took an hour by the way. My poor friend was so dedicated and supportive that they stuck around for the entire time just doing what I told them to do. It was awesome. Even at 1000 speed, the entire clip is almost seven minutes long. Now onto the details. It is my personal style of game time to log on and do whatever I want in 30 minute sessions. When I watch other people's videos, what I'm asking for is how much I can potentially get in 30 minutes doing what? Give me ideas and I like options. So that's how we will break down today's method is the 30 minute session idea. In the three 30 minute sessions that we spent gathering, we got 127 syntheses worth of materials, which turns into 381 biscuits. This translates into 42 turn-ins or almost five days worth of leave, leave allowances. Next time I wanna do this method though, I have so many extra mats that I won't have to get any coffee beans actually for a long time and I won't have to get nearly as much flowers so that turns out good. There is really only one question I had when I saw the coffee biscuit method videos for the first time. How much are the materials worth? So I actually listed the items that I got during these gathering sessions. <laughs> So I had a lot of materials sitting on my retainers, so I could pull a stunt like that. Anyways, we did sell several stacks of the materials, not all of them, but a good chunk of them for well over 300,000. I did not maintain these listings at all actually because I got really busy after prepping the video. And honestly, a rough guess that I'm not calculating because it's the end of the video and I'm starting to get a little lazy the materials do sell for a little bit more on the market board, but I had to wait four days. While turning in a full 100 leaves took an hour and gave me 1,800,000. I also attempted to see if the biscuits would sell, not really, like 18 sold total. Whichever direction you choose, always base it on your own needs. Doing a combo of both worked well for me but the leaves provided a type of instant gratification that is so satisfying, as well as the experience was a really good time. It was far more fun to do the leave turn-ins, but if I didn't have time, listing the items, you know, could have they could have sold before I was ready to actually do the method. So that could have worked out too. Whatever, no matter what, always decide what you want to do. All right, everybody, I have officially made this video last about four times longer than it really needed to be. So I'm going to let you go and enjoy your day. But thank you so much for giving me your time to watch your to watch this video. 
you mean so much to me and making videos has been such a privilege. Thank you so much. And until next time, love you.